we have stumbled upon a very interesting way for guys to maintain custody of their kids. And it's not something anyone ever expected. Like, I am not kidding. Nobody even imagined that th this would be the strategy. But, but here we are. Turns out if you're a man and you want to maintain custody of your kids, you got to be a sperm donor to a bunch of lesbians. That's all you got to do. A sperm donor wins custody of boy over his birth mother and her lesbian partner in landmark court case. Yeah, at least if you're in Straya, this 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 will let you get away with it. A sperm donor has won parental rights over a lesbian birth mother's only child in a landmark case. Do tell. Yeah, the more you know, am I right? Hey guys, you've been doing it wrong all along. Yeah, you, you've been trying to get into a monogamous relationship with these women and have kids with them the normal way and raise them as a nuclear family. Turns out if you want to keep custody of your kids, be a sperm donor for a lesbian. That's how you do it. So the ruling was handed down in June by the Federal Circuit and Family Court of Straya, which denied a mother's parental responsibility for the nine-year-old. The court instead ruled in favor of her former partner and uh, their sperm donor. The custody battle has lasted for almost five years uh, between the three adults, costing them hundreds of thousands of dollars in legal costs. Yeah, the, the, this is something that every guy will tell you. Most guys who actually won against their exes and have custody of their kids, they paid well into the six figures for that. And they still have to fight it to this day. Because th their ex is abusing all these programs that let women keep being a nuisance for free, you know, they're trying to drain his money. You you're gonna have to pay. Oh, the boy was conceived via IVF, and the female couple chose donor eggs and donor sperm. Uh, but all parties were known to each other. The eggs are donated by a mutual friend of the birth mother and her then partner, while the sperm donation was by a man the boys referred to as daddy. <laughs> All right, I guess uh, I, I, he, really, he really is the father. I mean, literally. Uh, the sperm donor met the boy when he was born and continued to spend time with him regularly, which, was included, uh, which included overnight stays. The man has always maintained he only ever agreed to donate his sperm if uh, there was a condition that he would always be involved in his son's life. Good thinking. Unlike most heterosexual relationships, he had this in paper. It was in a contract. It's a lot harder to mess with. So, but the biological father was never listed on the birth certificate with the uh, birth mother claiming he had waived his rights to, form, uh, to any formal parental duty. But when the two mothers broke up and started living apart, it triggered the messy custody battle. Over the last five years, the nine-year-old has spent time with each mother as well as time with the sperm donor. Yeah, no, the, the, this is really the, the, oh, the biggest tragedy of this whole story is how they completely ruined this innocent boy's life just so they could play games with his life. There's no way to solve this problem without getting messy, is there? Now, the trial judge ruled that just characterizing the father as a sperm donor and not as a person who's concerned about the boy's welfare and development would be ignoring the facts of the case. Good on the judge. Uh, this uh, led to the conclusion that the sperm donor is indeed, in practical terms, a parent of the boy with uh, the ordinary meaning of the word. The evidence unequivocally supports that the sperm donor has provided support and care for the boy since the time of his birth and will continue doing so. The mothers do not enjoy any superiority over uh, any other kind, uh, other person invested in the boy's welfare, namely the sperm donor, a.k.a. the father. The birth mother who lost her parental rights wanted sole responsibility for the child. But the birth mother's ex-partner who turned uh, who had turned her life around following the breakup fought for shared responsibility with the sperm donor. The boy had uh, his own independent legal counsel who put forward that uh, e either shared responsibility among the three adults or sole custody given to a sperm donor dad would best suit the boy's needs. All right. Th that boy got a good lawyer there. The judge said it was in the nine-year-old's best interest to make uh, orders that would minimize the risk of further court proceedings. Wow. It's not often you hear judges being reasonable, but, well, good on them. When was the last time you guys heard a judge being reasonable in a family, in a family court case? Oh, man. Now, the judge said he believed this, um, th this meant uh, giving shared responsibility between the birth mother's ex-partner and the sperm donor father, leaving the birth mother out entirely.
Irrespective of whether the presumption of equal uh, shared parental responsibility applies or is rebutted, I'm satisfied that it is not in the boy's uh, best interest for all three to share parental responsibility for him. The boy is a child who has medical and health needs and requires support. It, uh, it is a ma- imperative uh, that major long-term decisions in, the relation, in relation to these issues are made without delay and to, to the best of standards. Okay, so if this was a normal heterosexual breakup, if the man was the most financially well-off and the kid had some special needs, they would still give the kid to the mother and just increase the child support the father has to pay. Let's be honest here. That's how it would be handled normally. So I'm pretty impressed they didn't do that this time. It is in the hands of the parents whether the boy can finally cease being caught in the middle of them uh, litigating about him. The birth mother wanted to appeal the decision, but was told there was no point. The Herald Sun reported. In current year minus five, the majority of the high court ruled a sperm donor uh, was a legal father of a child because he had always been involved in her life. Yep, and I think that that that's an S right there. So you should have been, the Supreme Court ruled a sperm donor. Yeah, n- now by the way, so, some guys may be worried about this, thinking it'll set a precedent for, for setting sperm donors up as legal parents. I, I think as long as they, they keep the distinction that like, it, it all depends on how involved they were in the kid's life, I think, it's, I, mean, I think this is only fair. Yeah, you may be the sperm donor, but if you were there from, like, from the moment the kid was born and you helped raise him, yeah, you're effectively a parent. Like, I don't care what anyone else says. Now, if you were just some random dude that gave sperm to a sperm bank and then 20 years later, some random 304 is trying to get child support out of you. Yeah, that's a different story. Like, yeah, yeah get out of my face with that BS. I, I, I want nothing to do with that. But this rare Australia win right there. For once, I'm covering Australia and not laughing at them. So congratulations.